Hello, this is Darren from Polychrome DSP. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be creating a lead guitar tone to showcase the post effects section of the McCrocklin Suite. We're going to go over both the reverb and delay pedals to show what they sound like and what all they're capable of. And we do still have a special offer for the McCrocklin Suite over on our website. It's been extended, so we'll make sure to put a link to that in the description so you can check it out. But Let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off by dialing all the amp settings in to show what's going on underneath. We have the default preset loaded up here. And a lot of our signal is going to be coming from a drive pedal later on. So we're not going to go too crazy with the gain. We're actually going to back off on that a little. And we have a little boost coming from the heat presser. So we're going to adjust this, turn that up to about 60, and we're going to crank up the bass a little. So, still pretty basic, but here's how it sounds. <laughs> I'm going to keep it pretty simple with the, the cabs. I think number one sounds really great for what we're trying to do. But I am going to add a high cut to kind of clean up the top end. Round 30. Moving on to the drives. I'm going to go with the attacker. And the way I'm going to go about this is to have the level doing most of the work. So we're going to adjust that accordingly. Set that pretty high and then add a little bit of drive. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the gate up to get rid of that sizzling. So you could also do this the other way around and crank the drive way up and back off on the level. I prefer it this way, but it is all personal preference. Moving on to the EQ, I'm gonna go with eight band. This is something I think works pretty well. I'm actually going to cut out the higher, harsher frequencies and boost the low end. So we're just going to make some tiny cuts here, very small cuts, and then boost it at 125, 3 dB, and a little mid-range boost at 1.5. I think this, this kind of works really good for shreddy stuff too. So with the foundation of the tone out of the way, we are left with the post effects section. We have two great sounding pedals here. I'm going to show them each individually so you can hear what's going on. Starting with the delay. Here's how that, that sounds. So you have three options to choose from here. Stereo, Pong. This kind of makes it bounce back and forth between left and right. And Grain, which is pretty interesting because As it echoes on, it keeps lowering it by octaves, and it's something really cool and fun to play around with. But we're going to stick to stereo. Another unique thing about this pedal is this knob here called ducking. And what this does is it turns down the level of the delay, the volume of the delay as you're playing. And when you stop playing, it raises it back up to that original volume. So just as an example to show you how it works, I'm going to turn up everything. So here's ducking on 0%. So 
that's kind of a mess. There's way too much. So crank it up to 100%, and here's what ducking sounds like. Raises it back up to that original volume once you quit playing. And this is really cool to experiment with. It's a good thing to try to incorporate into your tones because you could potentially crank the delay up a lot higher than you normally would and without it getting in the way of your playing. We're actually going to have it at about 30 for our tone. Put the mix at about 15. Turn this down. Feedback down a little. One major thing I'm going to do is boost the high cut. And this will kind of let the delay sit in the background, make it less present. And we're going to add in some spread. This will pan it back and forth, pan it between your speakers. Moving on to the reverb, I'm going to flip this off so you can hear that. Turn the mix up. Like the, like the delay, you have three different options. I'm going to go through each of them real quick. Shop, and here's space. And dream. We're going to go with space and What's cool about this is it gives you the option to boost only the mid-range so you can get something that sounds kind of like this. Very cool. We're going to have this at about 11 o'clock. Something you can do with this pedal is create ambient tones. So if I were to Put the mix all the way at 100. Turn the time up a little. You can do things like this. And if you want to get really crazy, you can go into the delay, flip on the grain, turn the mix up a little. It'll add those lower octaves underneath of it, so you can kind of create this whole soundscape thing. So much fun to play around with. There's a lot, lots of things you can do with these pedals. So we're going to flip all of our settings back to normal here. I'm also going to add a high cut to the reverb, like the delay, and turn the pre-delay down a little. So let's see what it sounds like. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and if you have any questions or if there's something you'd like to see in a video, let us know down in the comments. And as a reminder, there is still a special offer for the McCrocklin Suite. It's been extended all the way to September, so a link to our, our website will be in the description. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you again next time.